This is Taylor from Wall Street Prep with your first PowerPoint Insider Secret, a classic PowerPoint mistake you're gonna face when filling in and editing PowerPoint templates. And I guarantee you, your clients are gonna make this mistake, your bosses are gonna make this mistake, and your colleagues are gonna make this mistake. And if you make this mistake too, you're gonna to spend a lot of unnecessary hours at the office trying to iron these things out, and you might not even be fixing them correctly. And let me quickly just show you what this mistake is. So here I have just a classic comparison slide layout comparing two things in PowerPoint. If I come into the normal editing view, come to the Home tab, Layout drop down. This is a common slide you're going to see in most people's PowerPoint templates. And while this looks like everything's been filled in correctly with the correct formatting, you know that it's not filled in correctly because if I come to the Home tab and I click Reset, notice there on the left, I lose half of the slide's formatting. I'll Control Z to undo. So if I reset, I lose half of the formatting. The question is why? Now, when I ran this challenge on LinkedIn, most people thought this was a slide master view issue, but in this case, it's not. This is a user error. We know this because if I come to the view tab and I come to the slide master, notice that all of the correct list level formatting is set up here on this template. So this side's correct. This side's correct. The problem is when I close the slide master view, all right, someone has filled this in incorrectly. So someone didn't know what they were doing. So they would come in and say, well, this is the correct formatting we're supposed to use. So I'm just going to control B to unbold. I'm going to come up and make the font black. I'll control U to underline and I'll control I to italicize. Now, while this looks like the correct formatting, you again, know it's not because when you hit reset, you lose all of the formatting. This is also why you can't just come over and select a bunch of slides holding the shift key and reset them hoping that everything in the slide is fixed, right? Normally, if you come in and reset a slide, so I actually accidentally um, nudge these things out of place, if I go and reset, everything's gonna convert back to the slide master, which is why people build templates in the first place. So this is a classic issue of understanding the difference between two sets of shortcuts. You have your tab stop shortcuts, and you have your list level shortcuts. And these can get a little bit confusing. So tab, when you're in a bulleted list, will move you forward, along the list levels and hitting shift tab will move you backwards along those list levels. But this only works with PowerPoint templates when you're in a bulleted or numbered list. Whereas the list level shortcuts will work with any type of text to properly set your list level. So alt shift left arrow on your keyboard and alt shift right arrow on your keyboard to set your different list levels. And this is what it looks like just on a standard keyboard. So alt shift plus either your left or right arrow key, and I'll show you how these works in just a second and where the actual command is if you don't wanna learn these shortcuts, but I highly recommend learning this Alt Shift left arrow and Alt Shift right arrow keyboard shortcut. So let me quickly demo how this works. So if we come into a PowerPoint slide, again, we're not sure if this is set up correctly. Let's just reset it. We click reset and you can see we lose all of the formatting. So someone again has not filled this in correctly. So we can fix this if we just click into this first line. First, let's just use the commands up in the ribbon. So home tab, here's your list level. Um, command, if I click it, there's level two, there's level three, four, and five. So I can click forward or I can click backwards to properly set, all right, this formatting for this PowerPoint template. I'll select the bullets. Let's see, forward, one, two, we wanted the check marks. So now if I reset, you can see this doesn't change. If I use my keyboard shortcuts, I just click in, Alt, Shift, Right Arrow, there's level two, select the text, Alt, Shift, Right Arrow once, twice. There is the proper formatting, again, so if we move things around, and we reset them, nothing will happen. Whereas again, if I come to this slide, which looks exactly the same, all right, someone's formatted this perfectly, and I reset it, I lose all of the formatting. So that is your first PowerPoint insider secret solving a classic PowerPoint mistake you're bound to face when filling in and editing PowerPoint templates.